In today's video, I want to show you guys another Google Slides tutorial on how to make your slides look very, very clean, minimalistic. And in today's specialty of the Google Slides, they're going to have little tabs on the top in the slides itself to keep track of where you're at and have a sneak peek for the audience to know what's coming up next. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Now, by making the tabs on the top, I want to go over here and go to shapes. And I actually want to hit the rounded rectangle. If I click and drag by holding the shift key right here, I can create a uh, rounded rectangle perfectly proportional, right? So now it's a square. And I can use this as reference to make the little tabs on the top, along with making it along with making a duplicate and making it a little bit longer over here to show which active tab that the you know audience is watching and with the, which one you're presenting, right? So I'm going to use this as like a template slash stencil for my image. I'm going to copy and paste this for now. I don't have to, but I'm just choose to. And again, I'm heading back to pexels.com and I already have um, some Los Angeles photos here that I want to show off. And by doing this, I'm just going to copy this image right here. I'm going to go back over here, paste this photo over here, right? And I'm going to resize it just so I'm, I get that rectangle shape, barely get that rectangle shape like so. And what I can actually do is I could head over here to this crop, right? And I could, if I go to the right, I just found this feature out, by the way, I could see the mask image and I could actually mask it to a rounded rectangle. Now with this rounded rectangle, I could just literally match the size of it. So boom, there you go. So now I have this image with the rounded rectangle shape on it and I could actually lower the brightness again. So I'll go to like negative 30. Maybe for the first slide, I want to talk about some general information about LA, right? So in that case, I can head over to flaticon.com again, which I use all my icons and I'm going to just grab this one right here. This is a good like world logo and I'm just going to copy this image. I'm going back here to my slide. I'm going to paste it and don't forget, we can actually turn this into white by recoloring it over here to the very, very bottom, right? And when we put it on top here, we have this nice tab now um, of this icon, right? And I could use the same technique to make more tabs and icons. So I'm just going to do that real quick. If I shrink this like this to this um, shape, it's going to like kind of squish the image and I don't like that at all. So what I can do instead of squishing this image is that I can actually move this and I already masked it to the shape as you can see, but I'm going to hit the crop this time. And once I hit the crop, I can actually crop it to that size of this um, rectangle right here and I can only get the burger if I want to or whatever and you see it won't be squished right it's not going to be flat like I had it earlier here putting that fork here and now you can see that I've made a food and a little globe icon tab here okay so I've made these four tabs here and now the next thing I want to do is I want to make the longer tabs right I want to make these long tabs I could again grab this image right make it the same size as this because again like I said I already rescaled it earlier I'm going to hit crop here and I'm just going to make the crop bigger and make this image wider like this. And now you can see that we actually have this um, long version of that tab to show that like, oh, you're active, you're on this tab, right? You copy and paste the same globe, maybe you scale it down a little bit if you want to. And then what you can add is a little bit of text, a little bit of text box over here and type in, I don't know, um, background, right? So um bold that make the type make the text white and i do like this font called poppins and i've used it prior in the other um presentation tutorial that i've used and that's that's literally the first time i found that font so you could re-shrink this text again and boom you have this tab of background now you can do the exact same thing with food and culture and entertainment so i'm just going to do that real quick and i'll come back to you know come back to you guys when i'm ready okay perfect so now with this in mind, I can actually, again, if the colors are too like, you know, clashing, you could always lower down the brightness. Um, so like I can do like negative 75 if I want to. Um, and I'm going to use this slide as like an asset slide. So I'm not really using this to present yet. So now here's where I'm going to get to the juicy part, which is just putting together our presentation, right? So I'm going to go over here and make a new slide, um, which is going to be my title slide. And I, I could just literally go back here type in Los Angeles for the photo. Um, and then I'm going to go also, I don't know, maybe I'll grab the beach because LA is, you know, known for the beach, right? So grab these two photos together. I'm going to try to proportionally rescale them. So they're the same size. And I'm going to grab these tabs here and paste it on top as like a marker for, you know, where um, in our slide are we, right? So I'm just going to type in, you know, welcome to 
and then I'm gonna go down over here and what I want to do here is I probably would want to have like a cursive font just to keep it interesting okay so now as you can see I have the um, welcome slide so I'm going to go over here to colorhunt.co and this is a great place to find like color palettes and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that uh, maybe you are pretty new to this so I'm just gonna stick with a very very simple color palette like this one right here I'm going to grab this exact color right here if i just click this color I, i'm pretty much copying the hex value which is like what um you know the hex value is basically the value for the color itself like that specific color i'm going to add a shape here i'm gonna I'm, i like using rounded rectangles i don't know why but i'm just gonna stick with it because i've already used it so i'm gonna add this shape nice and i'm gonna send this to the back so um in order i'm gonna send it back i'm gonna delete the stroke that they have over here so i'm gonna make it transparent and make the inside of that color to this custom color, right? That I could add, and I'm putting that hex value in, and that should literally paste the color from this palette. So I'm gonna copy this light color from the palette and actually change that font color to our other um, color. So I can definitely always add more like elements, I guess. Um, okay, so I'm gonna send backward here. I'm gonna keep sending this backward until boom, I reach this part. All right, so here's what I have so far after a bit of tweaking and tinkering around. You can see here that I have the welcome to Los Angeles along with my name down here and two photos of LA. One of them is the beach and the other one is the downtown, which is very, very classic and simple. So now what I can do is I could actually copy and paste this whole thing to another slide here. I'm just gonna delete this, paste it, right? And now I wanna talk about the background of LA, right? So I can now copy this from my asset slide that I made earlier. And I'm just going to paste it here and make sure to s s scale it down, delete the old one, move this, slide it over over here. And now I can actually move this and try to center this to the page. So now people know, okay, I'm on the background tab of this um, page now, right? All right, so there you go. This is the second slide design, as you can see. And I've actually used this color palette again to kind of create this whole like scheme and also move things around to make it not like boring and repetitive. Okay, so as you can see here, I've just done the tab method to every single one of the slides. So now you have this um, in the title slide, you don't have any tabs currently open, right? And as you go along the slide, they open up. So like, here you go, you have the background and the background tab opens up. And then now you have your audience is looking at the background. But with this food and drink section, now the food and drinks tab opens, right? Then the culture tab opens, then the entertainment tab opens. So, and it is very, very nice in that aspect because it gives a little sneak peek of like what's coming in the slides and also keeps you in track of like where you are in your slide as well and what other points that you have to cover that's upcoming in your presentation. Hope this design is very, very helpful to you. Again, you could mess around with your own color palettes, mess around with your photos and just how you design the slides in general. But again, this is just a brief idea that I have on how you can do your slides. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you guys all in the next video.